what happened between 1212 when the Children's Crusade uh, did not have the Mediterranean Sea part for them and 1750 when guardian angels started handing over weapons of mass destruction to humanity. What happened? We want to know what happened upstairs? What happened in the guardian angelhood? Because you already knew that divinity wasn't able to reach through effectively. That's true. That that was on the table. What happened? It's very quiet upstairs. It's very quiet upstairs. You know what it's like? They're talking about how after the Great Depression, the huge stock market crash at the end of the 1920s, and the really long economic uh, dysfunction that followed that was only solved by a mass mobilization that was insanely directed toward warfare, but it was a mass mobilization. Yeah, that's right. And that kick-started the economy again, but that a lot of uh, careful laws were put into place to prevent that kind of economic collapse from happening again. Banking regulations, primarily banking regulations. Uh, The Glass-Steagall Act. That's what they were talking about. And uh, that over the last um, 40 years, many of those banking regulations that were put in place to prevent economic collapse. Those regulations have been undone, making it possible for a similar economic collapse to happen again. That's true. And they're talking about how stupid that is (laughs) for humanity, and that something similar happened upstairs in the guardian angel community, that regulations had been put in place after the 1212 disaster, and that they then started on doing those regulations this feels real. as it approached the 1700s, saying surely by now uh, they will have changed inherently. And yes. Maybe, I don't know, it sounds like wishful thinking to me. Yeah, it does. Who's saying that? Feels like wishful thinking voices. Feels like they just didn't really test. And there maybe was a lot of pressure from above to check off that box as complete. And somebody checked it off and then they weren't immediately struck down by lightning. And that feels real. Then other people said, well, maybe maybe it's true. I don't know. Maybe it is better. I didn't think it was better, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just the incompetent boob and right. everybody else can get their charges to do things. Maybe I'm the only incompetent, quote unquote. This is what guardian angels are thinking to themselves. And so they all say, oh, okay. All right. It must be okay. That could be. That could be. There are elements of that for sure. What are the karmic consequences of guardian angels not doing their jobs? I really want to know. It's actually an enormous concern of ours because uh, this planet is being destroyed at humanity's hands. We're attempting to inspire a divine miracle to stop the destruction of the planet at humanity's hands. And we've got this issue of lack of integrity on the part of the guardian angels for planet Earth. This is troubling. We, we want to know what are the karmic consequences of guardian angels not doing their jobs. We have found how to silence the room. Yes. The portal's open. The portal's open. It's aim higher. Aim higher. And really the more important question is how are we going to clean up this mess, how may we be of service to correct the errors, like clearly mistakes happen and uh, that's okay, we're error making machines down here and so we don't feel like we're critical of anybody making mistakes in any dimension, but but we need to clean up the masses now, it's really time to acknowledge the errors and adjust for past failures and move forward 
in a different way, how might we be of service to correct whatever went awry that caused atomic weaponry to be given to humanity after the Mediterranean Sea didn't part. And it's not just atomic weaponry. Exactly. I think let's back it up to the internal combustion engine. We really need to talk about it. Starting at the bottom of the list of questions. What now to stop the destruction? What now to stop the destruction? How can we stop the destruction of planet Earth at humanity's hands? How can we be of service to inspire a divine miracle to stop the destruction? And what now to put planet Earth back the way the spirit world found it? Yes, surely we can see that the spirit world is complicit in the destruction of planet Earth at humanity's hands, yes. When the spirit world arrived here, it was a primarily forested planet. There were maybe 80,000 or fewer than 80,000 humans. Everything was working pretty much a biosphere in balance. Obviously there was lying, cheating, stealing, and bullying. That's why Pan invited the spirit world in. It's like that he thought we can do better than this and I'm not able to make a breakthrough. Nobody's listening to me. So, all right, I'll sign a treaty with the spirit world, invite them in and kind of took the planet from the dolphins and let the spirit world use the land masses thinking it would be okay. That's right. But now to put planet Earth back the way the spirit Your world, world found, found it. And how may we be of service to correct those errors? Yes, how can we be of service to correct whatever the errors were that have caused this enormous disaster to continue to play out? How can we be of service? It's very, very, it's clear. very clearing. Very clearing. Try to aim higher, higher, higher. Aim up to those little red lights that are like the amateur uh, videographers. That's right. Uh, aim up to those lights like people holding up their iPhones. That's what it looks like. Yes. The more broadly this is recorded in other dimensions, the safer it is for the souls who are taking a stand for the questions, which are valid questions. That's true. Why was humanity given all these destructive tools when the guardian angels already knew they couldn't reach into the depths? This is the real question. That's the big question. Why? What? Why was that? What happened? It seems like they all knew at the start that they couldn't reach in, but maybe there was a feeling of, I must be the only schmo. That could be the feeling I of must surely everybody else is able to reach in and I'm just not able to. And I don't want to let everybody know how incompetent I am, so I'll stay hush-hush about it and I'll just go along with this. But meanwhile, Nobody can reach into the depths. That's right. Other than under certain circumstances where th the denser presences are already reaching up, when the denser presences are reaching up and the higher vibration presences are reaching down, we can bridge the interdimensional divide and there's a bridge between den density and divinity, which we see in our healing practices. That's which true. It, it's wonderful to have the front row seat for the show of divine miracles day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. We know uh, that God is real. What are the karmic implications of guardian angels not doing their jobs? This is important. That's very clearing. Yeah, it is. Very quiet. Very quiet. If it's been 800 years and the system hasn't been restored to functionality, what are the karmic consequences to those who were purportedly in charge, wow. who do nothing and allow bullies to run rampant over gentler creatures? Oh dear. That's a tough question. That's an 
excellent question. Can we have that one one more? Yeah. Time? If it's been 800 years, which it has been, which it has been since the Mediterranean Sea didn't part, and the system hasn't been restored to functionality, which it doesn't look like it has no. been restored because they're saying we are implementing instant karma, but it's not happening. That's true. Like really, the CEOs of fossil fuel companies, their heads should be exploding, and that's right. Aliens should be bursting out their abdomens, and that's the poison right. industry also, and all the top execs, not just the CEOs, at a level commensurate to their badness, right? No. To the destruction that is occurring because of their participation. Exactly. And so what are the karmic consequences to those who were purportedly in charge, who do nothing and allow bullies to run rampant over gentler creatures? What are the karmic consequences for that? Right. We want to know. Look, what about the poor earthworms? They're dying because of the poisons. That's the worms are pretty benign and they're helpful. We're going to want our earthworms. That's true. When was it fully confirmed that divinity's ability to reach into planet Earth's destiny and create impact had been restored to functionality after the Mediterranean Sea didn't part? They keep showing that same paper report. I think I that that might be it. your critical moment. And that it's, feels it's true. It's not about the underling who filed the report. It's about the person who demanded that report be filed. And that I can feel feels true. that soul. And that's the big, big, big that's presence. A good, big, 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 big presence. Very powerful soul. That would be a good place to start. That's true. Just saying. Aim higher. Aim much, much, much higher. Who did the inquiry about what happened when the Mediterranean Sea didn't part in 1212 AD? There were a lot of them who did the inquiry. That feels true. Guardian angels, a, a bunch of, of them. A mm -hmm. bunch of guardian angels. They, they found a bunch of broken things. I can see broken things. Like I feel that. Broken things, broken things. Probably broken integrity bro broken promises that's true broken integrity broken words lack of integrity and then what repairs were done i don't think repairs were done no, i don't, I don't feel either. the repairs being done so they found the problems but didn't make the repairs it's kind of like with climate change now the problems are known the science is very clear and That's true. Uh, the repairs aren't being made. We're not switching over to renewables as a collective, as a society. We have, on our tiny farm, <laughs> switched over to renewables, but uh, by and large, our neighbors haven't. That's true. And as a society, we haven't. And we, we converted, actually, two houses to renewables because we didn't plan to move. We donated the first... Uh, <laughs> $70,000 solar system to strangers. That's true. Which is fine. And that brings us back to the very first question, which is what happened when the Mediterranean Sea didn't part for the 10,000 best children in Europe back in 1212 AD, also known as CE? What happened? Somebody's saying that isn't the real question. The real question is, why wasn't it fixed? That could have been a wake-up call. That's it's true. It's possible that there were many good reasons for that to have happened. And the point is that whether or not there were good reasons or bad reasons, that event occurred, and then there should have been a response, and there should have been adjustments for the failure until the system was working again. And That's so the true. fact that the system was shown to be broken isn't the problem. The problem is the lack of correcting the system before handing over destructive tools to humanity. Like, if they were just going to leave it broken, okay, just leave it broken and say, all right, well, never mind, this is too much work. <laughs> That's Wh true. Which is understandable. Oh, yeah. But 
which we base we base that understandable comment on having ten teenage chickens. And we're attempting That's to train true currently right now. Yeah, ten teenage chickens to respect certain basic rules and it doesn't make you love chickens, I have to tell no, that's you. that's true. But they're teenagers, and it's fine, and we were teenagers once, oh so yeah. we remember. So we would understand the spirit world just saying, you know what, <laughs> forget it. This is too miserable. That's Enjoy right. yourselves, you little pig people. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but that isn't what they did. No, Instead, that's they handed true. over destructive capacity weapons on an exponentially worse scale that's 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 where we have a bone to pick whoever speaking says that's where we have a bone to pick why'd you do that all the way up to the highest powers we connect with right now the red dot cameras way up high uh, that's likely to be it that's our best bet all those individual like posted on divine YouTube. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly.